Hello, my name is Lutz Lessaft, and I study the mechanisms by which propulsion jets generate noise. In the course, you are learning about the propagation of waves, and acoustic waves are one important physical phenomenon that can be described by these concepts. Here at Ecole Polytechnique, together with our partners from other universities and from industry, we are studying the question how the turbulence in a jet creates the loud noise that an aircraft makes at liftoff. The theory that describes sound created by turbulent flows is called aeroacoustics. We use that theory, together with experiments and computer simulations, to understand what we should change in the jet in order to make it quieter. Look at this computer simulation of a jet coming out of a pipe almost at the speed of sound. Very strong fluctuations of pressure, density and velocity are found in the turbulent flow region. Acoustic waves are also made of pressure, density, and velocity oscillations in a fluid. But in order to form a propagating wave, these oscillations must be coupled in exactly the right way. Only a tiny portion of the energy contained in the turbulent jet is radiated as sound. But that is still enough to shake your windows if you live near an airport. So how can we understand what is happening? First, let us turn to theory in order to get an idea of how a flow can make sound. We can take the standard equations of fluid motion. These describe the conservation of mass and of momentum. And we can combine these together into a wave equation, like the ones that you have seen in the course. This is called the Lytle equation. James Lytle deduced from it only by looking at the form of the source terms that the radiated acoustic power from a turbulent jet is proportional to the eighth power of the jet velocity. In other words, if you reduce the jet velocity by a factor two, the power of the noise is reduced by a factor 256. Modern jet engines operate at lower velocities than before and are therefore much quieter. Let us turn to the example of a jet that is not turbulent but very hot. The jet in this case breaks up into regular vortices. It also radiates sound at the same frequency at which the vortices are formed. We have found that it is the dipole source in the Lytle equation that is responsible for this noise. This allows us to identify the physical mechanism that makes noise in the hot jet. It is in fact the fluctuation of temperature transport which creates an acoustic dipole field. Once you know what the physical source of your aeroacoustic noise is, maybe you can imagine ways to get rid of it. In the jet, as in most aeroacoustic situations, the sound generation is linked to vorticity waves that propagate in the fluid. The next question about the jet noise problem is therefore how these waves are produced by the flow. This is the problem of flow instability, but that is a different story. Mm -hmm.